Welcome back to another Smart Money Monday. With tax season upon us, we want to warn you about IRS scams. Sophia Torrio joins us now from Bank of Hawaii. Aloha, Sophia. Hi, Steve. So now scammers are trying to take advantage of tax season? Yes, it's definitely more common than you would think. So, so walk us through these different scams, Sophia. Well, pretending to be from the IRS, some scammers will try to get you to confirm your identity with social security number or pressure you into sending money for back taxes, fines, or fake tax bills. In each scenario, they'll make it seem urgent, so you need to take action immediately or face worse penalties. Do they contact you online or by phone? Both. Scammers will send emails, calls, or even text messages. Often, they'll create an official-looking website to help convince you it's real. So, so help us protect ourselves. How do we avoid falling victim to the IRS scams? Well, just remember that the IRS will never reach out to you via email, text, phone, or even social media. They'll always send a letter. What are some other common IRS-related scams? Other scammers will pretend to be you so they can collect a refund from the IRS under your name. How? Well, they'll steal your personal information, such as name, birth date, social security number, and then use made-up financial information to electronically file a fraudulent income tax return under your identity. They pretend to be you and make up a fake return to get a refund? Absolutely. And before the IRS finds out, they've got your refund. What can we do to stay safe? Well, always keep your personal information personal. And if it sounds suspicious, it probably is. When in doubt, call the IRS directly to confirm your request or information. If you're a victim of an IRS scam, contact the IRS directly and file a report with them. Then inform your bank of the possible compromised account and change the passwords for the accounts they may be compromised. Hey, Sophia, thanks for alerting us about this and uh, teaching us how to avoid it. It was my pleasure, Steve. To learn more about IRS scams, visit buh.com slash resources.